Hey, what's up YouTube? This will be the start of my homemade camper. Hopefully, this thing will actually come out proper. We started out here with a 1970s, about 70, 75. It was actual, uh, like, 7 foot wide, 16 foot camper, which would have been nice, but it was all completely rotten. Had no choice as I started dimming in the little tiny itty bitty bathroom had no choice but to tear the whole thing down so what I've decided to do is build a homemade one two person camper with the basics of a small tiny kitchen small I have a queen size bed in the back uh, AC if you're near an RV park or generator it will have solar powered I've started out by using 2x4x8s cut down to 2x4x5 foot 3 8 wide and 2x4x16 full lengths 2x4s. Decided to stay inside the wheels. The major issues I had on, this, on the original model is this uh, right side tire here decided to come loose on the freeway as I was bringing it home. And thank God, since the body sat about halfway over this tire, that I was able to keep the tire inside the basic shell of the camper and not completely lose it. Well, only issue was the whole frame sat on the ground because now it was axle, leaf spring, frame all on the ground. Hopefully, as you can see. Not well sure with the sun. The bumper's got a nasty bend in it, but that's alright. One of my design ideas was with this bumper, it's going to be cut off right here with the uh, with the main body. And let me see if I can get out of these shots so y'all can see it. All these little supports that would held the original body on. I'm gonna come and trim them all right here. What I'm planning on doing is putting three four inch pressure treated plywood on here they go right up on this deck it'll bolt right here it'll go uh, lag bolt some kind of bolt all the way through it'll get nut and bolted all that good stuff so that way everything's held nice and tight I haven't decided on windows it'll be the original I've kept the original camper uh, door with a screen everything I've got the original windows I've kept some of the cabinetry, some of the a couple of pieces of good wood. I've kept part of the original kitchen. I have cut it down. You can see in the picture right there, there's the original, or the back side of the original uh, stove and oven. Decided I'm not going to use it for this project because being a camper, it would be nice. But in case I decide to use it as an off-grid camper at one point. I decided I found a vintage Remington, I think it was a Trailblazer trail by Remington, little camping stove. It was a pretty cool little antique. Got it for, uh, I believe, $12 at the flea market. Decided to use it on that. I am going to keep the original bottle holder. I'm not going to use the regulator for the gas bottles. I uh, will be putting in an outdoor shower on this where it will attach to the side. This is just something I was goofing around with. I've got all the parts to this. I have cut it down shorter, like an additional three foot, whatever the width of this original stove. I took the original, took the original sink down. I have cut it down. This is not complete. I know it looks like crap. I will finish up my metal work on that. I just wanted to use a simple little uh, bowl sink. Not nothing major. That will sit approximately there. I have the original faucet. It will give me about two and a half, two foot, somewhere in there. Area to lay my little camping stove down. I've got four drawers here. I'll have some under cabinet storage there. I am going to rebuild this cabinet. Yes, I am taking the AC light out of it. I'm using all LEDs in this that are that will become uh, be compatible with the solar. 
so I can uh, get maximum lighting and everything simple little cabinet it's a darn mess out here I do need to clean up I know it's not much video it definitely will be a project I'm hopefully gonna get this done in a month or less been contemplating on keeping this and I think I might this is the spare tire holder I wish I would have got the spare tire would have came in handy it was uh, made to fold down because on the original camper there was in this general area was about a four foot maybe five foot wide the little flip down door that gave you access to underneath the bed it was pretty super disgusting there was uh, rot all throughout the original camper bugs galore when I ripped up the original 2x2 two two framed out floor with a three-fourths plywood it was on top and a thin, thin aluminum sheet on the bottom side in that very front left corner I found a skink I believe if I'm saying it right was living in there I had used the deteriorated wood and sawdust whatever it was I had eggs oh it was super disgusting at that point I may I was glad I made the right decision on doing this last night would have been the perfect night to have this thing up and going my nice brand new high energy efficient super AC had went out computer board burned out in it or something it would have been nice if I could have camped out in here this will encourage me to go ahead and do this well besides the little stuff I decided I'm going to go ahead and get the floor finished up get all the bracing done bolted down the next couple videos will probably show me doing the actual decking on this, building walls. Eventually down the road, uh, we'll have a complete shell on here. If anybody sees this video and can get and help me out, the main thing I am trying to find, which I've started looking, I cannot 100% find it. I don't know if, yeah, there we go. This is a nice super wide four lug. It uses lug bolts like a Volkswagen. I had some to fit it because the original owner on the other side had lost the bolts. So after I had put a tire on there, ended up having to go to the hardware store. Actually, no, I'm sorry, it was Napa. Spent about almost 30 bucks on the four bolts because unlike Volkswagen, they needed to be a quarter of an inch longer. And that started my problems on getting it home. The major issue is if anybody can help me, I need brake drums. I will not be getting the electric brakes working on this because it will not be useful for what I'm going to be doing. But these are actual brake drums. It's got an electric brake assist on this trailer. Not too fond of it. I don't really need them. But the other side is stripped and that's why the tire came loose. If anybody knows or can guide me in the right direction on where I can obtain some, brand new of course, I would like to see that. If anybody's got any suggestions on anything as I'm building, feel free to just send me a message. Here's another safety hazard we're going to be fixing. This jack is held on by an entire three bolts, which one is missing. And these don't look honestly adequate. The jack is newer. I might actually try this company and see if they can guide me for parts but this jack is newer this company is not maybe six miles away max I'll need to try to get a hold of them somebody has done work on this here and there but this thing was super disgusting regulator I wouldn't trust it like uh, as I was tearing it apart I kept wondering where's the furnace there was a piece of plywood nailed up on the original cabinet that used to be inside. Somebody had stole the furnace, uh, decided uh, when the furnace is out. Stuff it full of old huge uh, dog food bags in there. Of course the mice ran through this original camper. The mice brought the bugs and etc. Here's a view of the original steps. I am going to keep this. I do like the fact how this is the down position. My goal, which I don't know what kind of wood I'll be using on this. Sorry for the... Just giving you all kind of an idea what I've... Try to make it seem like a little miniature home. 
this will be cut down this isn't the actual complete size I've decided maybe put like a little deck little landing so that way you could maybe put a little mat brush your feet off going in and out and yeah, just make it like a little mini porch I do have a couple ideas for these front walls will be if I complete it there'll be like a swing arm there'll be a two-piece swing arm will run across the front of this that will swing out that way I could stretch a canopy or some sort of a, a, across the top of this give me a little shade like a little porch when I'm traveling the cool thing I do like about this this sits up and locks just like the original I am glad I actually fixed this when I obtained this I kept wondering why I was coming in and out my big behind would almost hit the ground come to find out the welds were welds or spot welds whatever from the factory had broken I do have that pipe that actually carried the LP gas I believe that's what it's called it would branch off over there it would have like a little T it would branch off in different ways to this uh, to the oven one way I believe one way would send it over to the furnace one way it was over to the water heater and over there's another one they used to have another cabinet it was in this where the dining room was in this area it used to have a built-in lantern I just didn't trust vintage stuff on that I figured we you know rebuild it energy efficient and try to go well I appreciate everybody watching this video this is I know kind of a boring video just a little overview on this beginning of the project if anybody's got any questions concerns any advice feel free to send me a message thank you guys